Hey everybody, how you doing today? It's Super Bowl Sunday. So if you got a lot of people coming over, if you get a little nervous, having some guests over, kind of scared. That can be that can be puzzling sometimes. Get on in here. I know there's a few of you rustling around here. So come on in. I have tried my best to research why my camera goes in and out and does weird stuff. And I found a setting on my iPhone 10, 10, 10 S Max. Hey, Emma. <clears throat> anyway, I found a setting because our phone makes little videos. My phone does little videos from time to time. And when I reach up, it wants to refocus and do some weird things. So let's see if this works. I am going to touch my nose right there with my little thing. And replays are good. So everybody's been asking me who am I rooting for. For Well, my nephew asked me. He is a Patriots fan. And, and this morning I told him I was going to root for the Patriots. But not because he's rooting for the Patriots. I am rooting for the Patriots because <laughs> um, Tom Brady likes President Trump. And so does um, the owner, Mr. Kraft. So I'm going to root for the Patriots. Hey, I'm patriotic. What can I say? I usually wear my little, little, sh little denim shirt that has a flag on it. But that's who I'm rooting for. I, I never really warmed up to the Rams when they left St. Louis. And I used to live in West Tennessee. And it was the St. Louis Rams. And, they, and then they moved somewhere else. And I just didn't, I didn't much hold for them. But hey, the best team is going to win. I promise you that. The best team is going to win. Well, maybe not if you're from... New Orleans Saints. I hadn't watched a football game all year, y'all. Not a single football game all year until the the semifinals. And then that's when um, I, I watched both games. Robert doesn't watch them, but anyway. It, it's going to be fun because you get food and I'm cooking. I am, I've got some... Uh, ground beef and onions cooking so I don't know if I'm going to make chili or if I'm going to make my favorite um, hamburger stroganoff. I'm kind of feeling like I want the hamburger stroganoff but chili would probably be better for me but I don't know. So I don't have to decide just yet. I only have to decide when the hamburger meat gets cooked. There's my brother-in-law. So I've been talking to my neighbor this morning and, and my uh, lovely neighbor, they have a wonderful story. They, they, were, they were from California. He was a police officer in, in California and they sold everything they had. They bought a motor home and they moved, took a year to move across country, trying to figure out where they wanted to spend the rest of their life. And they ended up next door to me. Next door to me. So they've taken their time about putting furniture in the house. And I think that's such a wise thing. The first thing they purchased was a, a table for their kitchen. And it had to be a specific type table kind of wanted it to be a farm table and so they found they're buying one piece at a time and I think this is brilliant they had to have a bed so um, Neil her husband Laura's husband m made a platform for a bed and they put a mattress on it and they just little thing at a time is what they're doing just a little bit at a time and she sent me a message this morning that she found a console table that she'd been looking and looking and looking for this console table. And it was, she found it this morning. She can't wait to get it. So she's 
finding specific places she needs things and she's only buying one thing at a time. Now that's what I call baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. And I just think it's wonderful. And she knows what she wants. Now, how beautiful is that? She knows what she wants. When we started remodeling our house, I had no clue. When we got the house finished, we need to put some furniture in. I had no clue. We went to a furniture store and I was overwhelmed immediately. Overwhelmed totally from the beginning. We walked in. Robert said, what do you think about mission furniture? I said, I don't like it. And just kept walking. And furniture stores are in a circle. So I walked all the way around the circle, got back to the front of the store where the mission furniture was, and I looked at him and I said, what do you think about mission furniture? <laughs> and he just died laughing. So, yep. We got some mission furniture. Now, we have upgraded our couch because it got worn out after 20 years or so. And, well, 15 years. And we upgraded the couch, and I got a red couch that's kind of comfortable to hunker in on because the mission couch wasn't. But we put the mission couch in the basement in Robert's office so that he has a place he can hunker in if he wants to. And, and we got... I got me a recliner, which I never use, but I sit in my red chair in the living room, which is a sort of a straight backed chair, which I really like a straight back chair. Like I like this one. And we just got a few pieces at a time, just a few pieces at a time and doing it, looking for upgrading, um, uh, a piece at a time is, is really good. I don't know why y'all are talking about dyslexia right now. <laughs> I don't have a clue why dyslexia and diabetes is coming up. So I don't have a clue because I can't go back and look at the comments. So, so let's focus, take that conversation outside of, of, of what, what we're doing here because we're talking about getting rid of our clutter. And a lot of times when we get rid of our clutter, we don't know what we like. We don't know what we really like. And so figuring out what we like before we ever go shopping so we don't settle. Now, it's okay to go shopping, whether it's online looking around or watching, watching HGTV and, and looking at stuff. It's okay to go to auctions. My sister loves to go to auctions. I have a lot of furniture in my house that came from auctions. Where we up where we upgraded it just a little, one piece at a time. So finding out what your style is. Now when we remodeled the house, I was just about done. I was having to make all these choices. Robert was going to court every day. He said, just handle it. Well, I found out right quick, just handle it, didn't cut it. Because he said, well, what color appliances are we getting? And I said, we're getting black appliances. And he said, black's not a color. Black is not a color. And I said, yes, it is. <laughs> it's the color I picked for our appliances. So then when it came to the wall color, I said, okay, honey, I don't know what color to paint the walls but you just have at it. You paint it any old color you want to. And he is, he picked out a pale yellow. And in fact, I had to take a, a, a stick of butter to the paint store and say, I want this color yellow. And it's, it's still beautiful. It probably needs to be repainted again, but that's okay. It's just a very pale yellow. My walls in here are the same color, just a pale yellow. And it makes me happy. It's not too warm. It's not too cold. It's just the color of butter. And I love butter. So 
he picked out the furniture and he picked out our floors. Our floors are hardwood floors, uh, pre-processed, but he didn't want little narrow boards. So we have three inch boards, three inch boards, and they're beautiful. They need to be refinished from time to time. And I have a scaredy cat. And so we're going to wait until after Samantha is no, crosses the rainbow bridge and she's 10 years old right now but we'll get our floors redone sometime but i'm not in a hurry i don't want things things messed up you know i like my peace in the house i have everything the way i want it and when you finally get everything you like you don't want to change you just don't want to change and it makes it comfortable for us so you see we doing things one thing at a time makes it so much easier on us focusing on your closet and getting rid of stuff out of your closet this week we're in our kitchen we can um, declutter one drawer at a time and don't dump the whole drawer out on the counter don't do that Open the drawer up and pick out five things to get rid of in that drawer. Five things. And, and it'll be so much fun to just get rid of five things. And are you doing your a bag a day? And it can be a grocery sack. It can be a garbage bag if you want. Don't make it hard on yourself. Be kind to you in the process. I was watching uh, the CBS Sunday Morning News today. And... I was looking at the anniversary of, of Sesame Street and all they wanted to do was teach children how to be kind. And I want you to learn how to be kind to you. Yes, you. You deserve to be kind, be treated in a kind way. And decluttering a little at a time is kind. Thank you all for writing Ben. He tells, tell, he tells me every day that he's gotten another letter. So y'all keep doing that. Uh, he's, he's really in... Um, he, he said today, this is funny. He said, you know, Aunt Marla, I have started a mini movement here in the unit. And I said, a mini movement? And he said, yeah, I've got everybody keeping a food log of how many carbs they're eating, how much they're exercising, how much water they're drinking. And there are a lot of people doing it. There's like 64 men in his unit. And he said, we're, we're just having the best time. Can you give the address again? Okay, here it is. I've got it right here in front of me. Ben Cheryl, and you gotta put his number in, 325281. 1045 Horsehead Road, Pikeville, Tennessee. And let me get rid of that announcement. 37367. So get your pencil out and write it down. If not, go back and, and get it to this point and pause it so you can write it down. But he is, um, he's making a difference in people's lives. And he sees how that can help us. It really can. Because I don't think I would be fly lady right now if I hadn't had somebody to help. Because if you can teach somebody how to do something, you got to walk the walk instead of just talk the talk. You got to do it. What's a bag a day? It, no, Ben is my nephew and he is in prison. He's in prison. He, he made and sold some bad stuff. So that's, you know, our family's just like everybody else's family. 40 bags in 40 days is what we're trying to get rid of in a, of our trash. And as he was telling me, he only has about this much room, 18 inches, of room for books so when he reads a book he passes it on to somebody else and he's trying to help his um 
fellow inmates or whatever they call themselves, cellies or I don't know, but he's trying to help them reduce their sugar because he's learned that sugar is as powerful and as addictive as heroin. So folks, cutting back on your sugar, drinking your water, counting your carbs, you know, taking care of you is going to be wonderful. And it's all about taking care of you. That's what flying, finally loving yourself. I think there's four people in his cell. Yesterday, he was thankful to have a washer and a dryer in his unit. And, and so many times we have washers and dryers and we don't use them. And we, and our it's our washers and dryers are our, our clothes are piling up and our our washer and dryer is not being used. And he's thankful for the little things of just a simple washer and a dryer in his unit instead of having to send his laundry out and waiting and ha you know getting things stolen and all kinds of stuff. So, you know, we all know somebody who has, has been involved with drugs. We all know somebody who has died from alcoholism or drug overdose. Um, death is our national emergency, I think. I mean, there was one drugstore in Kentucky that refilled prescriptions of opioids for, you know, millions of people. Imagine that. So we've got to address our addictions. And Stephanie, I am so sorry to hear about your, your daughter. My sister, she had, she had issues. But guess what? We can forgive them. We can still love them. We can still love them. Okay, what else do we need to talk about today? Calendars are getting low. I was at the play last night. Sarah was in Romeo and Juliet. She was one of the little Juliets. She's so cute. And uh, he told me that we did inventory on Friday and we we're getting really low on calendars. So if you do not have your calendar for this year, you better get it. This is mine that goes in the bathroom. I'm gonna hold it in my hand and take it in the bathroom. My goal this this month is doing 11 times up and down the steps. I've done um, already nine today. I have two more to go. Get your calendar. Use this. Use this to help chart your food chart, your food journal, whatever it is. And I was talking to Ben today and uh, he was telling me that his father's birthday is in, in um, nine days and he asked if I could help send him a little birthday present for his dog. His dog, he has this wonderful dog he loves. And so I said, yeah. So I sent him this big old dog, rubber dog bone that our dog can barely carry. But this, he has a pit bull lab mix. So this dog won't have any problem with it. And I said, I am really proud of you, Ben. And he said, why, Aunt Marla? And I said, you're thinking ahead. We have 13 steps in our stairs going downstairs. Well, there's a landing, so I don't go all the way down. It would be 14 if I went all the way down. <clears throat> um, Justin will have to write down what the price is of the calendar, but we got a 20% discount on it. So you can take a couple of bucks off of it. it and our discount code for today is BREAK, B-R-E-A-K 706, BREAK 706. So we've got the calendar going on. We got Rubba Scrubbas. They are on a BOGO. You love BOGOs. And then we've got the multi one, which is half price. 
and our dish towels. I've been working on tomorrow's stuff and we talk about the dish towels tomorrow. And what, what, what do we use dish towels for? Well, there's a lot of uses of dish towels. I have used them. Oh, this is, this is going to make my son laugh. I've used them for a bib. I have used them as napkins when we have a low country boil. Let's see. What else have I used them for? I keep one, I keep two in the car for another to wipe my hands on when I'm, uh, when I'm traveling. There's just a lot of uses for these rags and I just lay it all out for you. And they are fun to have. In a pinch, you could use one for a diaper. They're that absorbent. I hate saying that, but yep, you could. Uh, we have, oh, the, the, our carpet sweeper is $21.95. And that's going to be coming to an end pretty soon. So get yours now. You can get a 20% discount on our purple rags right now. Right now. So... Purple rags and our pink rags. We've not ever put the pink rags on sale. Somebody wanted to know if we were going to do purple mini rags. And our pink rags are one-fourth the size of our purple rags. But we had these made for to get our makeup off. And they do such a great job. They do a wonderful job of taking makeup off. I gave some to my hairdresser and she's supposed to be making a video. She, she, she says they are the best thing in the world for taking eye makeup off. The stickers make me smile too. Oh, Ben's been in prison for four years. So, folks, the Bible teaches us to be kind to people who are in prison. We've got to be kind to people. And I'm trying to be kinder to others all the time. The pink rags are the same fabric as our purple rags. The very same fabric. You see the little ridges in it? Same fabric. Just like our silver rags are the same fabric. Okay, folks. It's time to get ready for the Super Bowl. Yep. Well, I love you all. You have some fun today. And, and you know, sit back and, and take a little nap. Take a little nap and, and do something kind for you today. I love you all. Take care of yourself. Keep flying. Bye.